Hi, my name is Ravi. Today I am working on Daihatsu Move 2017 3-cylinder small car. Uh, customer complaint is check engine light is lit, nothing else other than that and other shop also has tried to diagnose it. Uh, but no positive answer, let's diagnose this car in our way. As always, first thing is first, I am going to hook up this scan tool and get the data and see any fault codes available. Before that, uh, let's start the car and witness that customer complaint, check engine light is lit. Yeah, customer complaint is right, check engine light is lit. So let's scan the car. Uh, already I have select Daihatsu here and the engine model is KF. So let's go ahead. Here you can see the network topology. So I go ahead and uh, tap the smart detection. Uh, here you can see already EFI system has been set a fall code. So let's see what it is. Okay, entire system scan done, uh, but just a EFI system has one fall code. Let's go in and see. P1399, I own current system. Wow, I don't know. <laughs> Actually, I haven't seen these fall codes ever before. So Daihatsu have weird system fall codes that I have never seen. Anyway, what is this ion current system? I did some research online, but I found very less information. There wasn't a clear definition for this ion current system. I don't know. Okay, let's get into the live data stream and try to find any helpful clue in order to chase this weird fall code. Actually, I have done this diagnosis already. Uh, therefore, I will take you through the less footages without your time consuming. Already, I have dig all the data in 11 pages, but I found only one clue here that misfire counting on cylinder number two. You can see that here. Believe me that can't feel any misfire situation though. It was in customer original complaint too that nothing else other than check engine light. You can see here number 2 cylinder counting misfire 1 to 99 and repeat it again and again. This thing is continuously happening but nothing extraordinary in the data stream other than this misfire counting. Maybe this ion current system is an another definition for ignition system or entire EFI combustion system uh, that you see in Daihatsu uh, modern vehicles. This is 2017 uh, vehicle but who knows. Uh, okay, we just leave it and go to the next test. Anyway, I will tell you what is the customer's story behind this car. Uh, he has had dead misfire on cylinder number 2 and other shop easily diagnosed it and uh, replaced all three spark plugs with uh, new two ignition coils that on number 2 cylinder dead ignition coils and number 3 barely work ignition coil with aftermarket brand new ignition coils. You can see here that number two and three cylinders have those new ignition coils. So off camera, I did the secondary ignition waveform test on all the three coils uh, that shows perfect secondary ignition waveform indicating no actual misfire or combustion related fault. Okay, you saw that my Handtech 4 channel oscilloscope is ready for next test. I am going to see the IGF ignition confirmation signal on number three wire in each coil uh, through three separate channels on the scope because what i know daihatsu and toyota are almost same manufacturer they have this dedicated wire to ignition confirmation signal to send from igniter to the ecm so uh, let's see all three coils send that square wave pull down signal to the ecm in order to confirm that ignition event took place okay all the three coils igf wires have been back propped here is my handtech 6074 be oscilloscope let's go to the screen Oops, sorry, huge glare on the screen, but can see that we are having all the three signals on the three channels, yellow, green and blue. Uh, so I will separate uh, all the three channels here in order to see better view. Uh, you can see the yellow trace is number one ignition coil IGF signal, number two IGF signal is green channel and number three IGF signal is the blue channel. I can see the problem here right away, but uh, under this clear situation, you will not see it clearly. So let's record this waveform again and analyze it away from the glare. Okay, I got the signal. Let's analyze it. 
here's the signals waveform so once again i will tell you this uh, yellow channel is number one ignition uh, confirmation signal green trace is number two ignition confirmation signal blue trace is number three ignition confirmation signal okay let's go to the analysis do you see this yellow trace and blue trace have a pull down fat square wave signal but look at this number two green trace has much skinny pull down square wave signal than the other two signals i think everything is clear ecu is not happy with this skinny square wave in number two igf signal that is why he is counting misfires even without actual misfires anyway let's measure this square wave signals with uh, before that i will apply low pass filter to this yellow trace and blue trace in order to remove those unwanted noises uh, doesn't matter that we lost some details on those two traces when apply a low pass filter. Let's go to the measurements. Okay, I get the vertical rulers here and align them on this yellow trace square wave. Look at this, it shows around 7 milliseconds. Let's go to the blue trace and uh, get the measurement. It is also around 7 milliseconds that perfectly matched IGF signals. That means ECU is looking for this 7 millisecond square wave signal as the IGF signal if everything is okay. But look at this how poor skinny signal on this green trace of number 2 IGF signal. Anyway, let's measure this signal too. Look at this. It's around 1 millisecond that ECU is not happy and not accept as the confirmation of ignition event took place. So confirm this is a bad ignition module in the ignition coil. This car need a new ignition coil that goes with this car. Anyway, if I did not throw the scope in this scenario, it would have to be hard to find case with this Daihatsu weird system fault code. Because of nobody wants to go behind the ignition coil which is not make real misfires. Anyway, thank you for watching. Stay subscribed with us for more diagnostic videos.